empowered such a one. Somebody give him a praise here. God, everybody say, God has empowered me. And because he has empowered me, I dare anybody to stand before me. Touch not. Don't interfere. Don't come close. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. Touch not. The Lord's anointing and do his prophets no harm. Somebody give him praise. A prophet is God's mouthpiece. What? Hear from God and speak to the people. And so if somebody interfere with the prophet or the prophetess or the brother or the sister who is hearing from God to take to the people they think it's going to be easy with them it will not be easy because we are blocking the people from hearing from God somebody give a praise so it's not the prophet you are stopping you are stopping the work of the Lord. Literally, in the name of Jesus. If I ever raise up my hands against a person that God has called and assigned, I'm asking God today to forgive me right now. Somebody give him a praise. Somebody give him a praise. Say, Lord, forgive me.
I'm telling you that all night last night, the Lord gave me this thought. The church shall not be moved. She's the tree that's planted by the rivers of
I only win my eyes for maybe about 45 minutes. And the Lord said to me, I want you to go and preach and say that the church shall not be moved. And I, I thought of it for a moment and says, do you want me to preach her now? He says, yes. She shall not be moved. The church will stand and people will fall. Somebody give him praise. Give God a praise. Touch not the Lord's anointing and do his prophets no harm. His mouthpiece no harm. Somebody give him a praise now. This is the word of God. In the book of Chronicles, chapter number 16, 20 through 23. And then when they went from the nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another, unto the people, somebody give him praise. He said, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake. God says, I, I ask every man to leave me people that are alone. If you don't understand the people, leave them alone. Me say no trouble, no trouble, you. No trouble you. Somebody give me praise. Yeah. What? <laughs> Somebody give me praise. Go back to the verses. Go back to the verse. I like it. It says, God says, according to Chronicles, that I have approved and command. The kings, he suffered that no man do them wrong. For their sake, for your sake, say for my sake, God will talk to big people and little people and kings and liars and everybody who want to do, God will talk on my behalf. Say, so speak on my behalf, God. Can I get two people to raise your hand and say, speak a melody of oh God. Let me read it again. He suffered no man to do them wrong. And he reproved kings, even kings. God rebuked them and bring them down for touching his people. The sister preached a message this morning. She just preached something like that. When God ready to defend his people, he will go anywhere and any land to defend his people. But your neighbor said, no trouble me. For me no trouble you. Say it on.
if you don't like what I do and what I say, leave me alone. Somebody give me praise. So leave me alone. But you don't have to like everything I do and everything I say. Because you are not, it's not you assigned me, it's God. And if God is pleased with me, I don't care what nobody says. It says, he suffered no man to do that wrong. God says, I will ensure that anybody try to work on the Bible. Anybody try to lie on you. Anybody try to, try to accuse you. And try to put, bring your name all over town. I am going to step in. And I'm going to fight the battle for you. Come on, so Lord, I'm hearing, Lord, I'm hearing. I am going to step in. And because I don't want them to fight.
Let's stand and give it a chance. A chance. I will never want to do that. I will be very good with it. I'm marching, marching. What's the name of us, Ramban? I want to go pop them. Thank you. 
warrior one. But now one. Because I am an assignment. Say that I am an assignment. So if you are going to do an assignment, then I understand why you are thrown. But because I am an assignment, it's impossible for me to run.
a long time with them that show up himself and a change certain people's minds. But the Lord said, I come to take over and to let them know that enough is enough. Somebody give me praise.
in the word of the Lord. The church shall not be moved. And because of that, when Jesus, when Jesus came into the course of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, who do men say that I am? If you don't know who Jesus is, when people start talking and chat and not nonsense or anything. We say no trouble, we are no trouble in the world. Oh, Jesus. Give it life. Jesus said, I am the chief apostle. Jesus said, I am the chief prophet. And I, if you don't know who I am, then people are going to come around you and change your mind towards me. Did you hear what I'm saying? So you have to know the woman of God or the man of God or the people of God for yourself. You can't know them through people's eyes. You have to know them through the eyes of the spirit. And you have to be connected to them in the spirit. Because when people come with natural stuff, when you are connected in the spirit, you will build them as an trouble. I'm 
right now. Because this is not your place. He said, I could only give to Russell this assignment to speak like he's speaking now. Somebody give him praise. Because it is his place to speak like this and don't hold back nothing. Somebody give God a praise. Lift up your praise. Somebody give a praise. Give us a Lord, forgive me. 